I'm April Trupiano, your host of Streetscape. In this episode, we're gonna learn about First Fridays at the Science Center, talk about tummy tucks, we're gonna meet an actor and an author, and we're also gonna learn how to face the challenges with aging parents. And all this while rolling on the river in St. Charles. We're here at Renaissance Plastic Surgery in St. Peter's. This is actually our third visit on Streetscape. We've talked about the Zerona fat burning machine. We've talked about breast augmentation. And today we're here with Dr. Stephen Craig to talk about the tummy tuck. So doctor, what is a tummy tuck? Tummy tuck is a surgery that we perform to restore the shape of a woman typically after pregnancy. And what it is is essentially living, lifting up the uh, skin of the abdomen of the tummy and uh, repairing the muscle underneath that becomes stretched due to pregnancy. The surgery is about two and a half hours long. It's an outpatient surgery. Uh, it is uh, a recovery of on the order of um, a good week before you're feeling really good and doing most of the things you want to do. Uh, it involves basically making a bikini line incision. Uh, that incision uh, is then used to lift the skin up off the muscle wall and to examine the muscle wall in the operating room, repair that muscle wall, and then once the muscle wall is repaired, we then redrape the skin and get a nice clean contour. I like to compare it sometimes to a building, whereas the muscle is the structural steel and the skin uh, serves as the outer coating on the building. And when we're able to uh, repair that muscle, that'll give a nice clean contour through that truncal area and then the finishing touches are getting that skin back together the way it needs to be. Well, some people may think of this as a weight loss method. Is that accurate? It really isn't and oftentimes we'll have to turn down patients because they have that perception. What we like to do again is to say, hey, we'd like for you to be in, in the best condition you possibly can. The more uh, fit you are, the thinner that skin flap is and the better contouring we can achieve. So oftentimes we unfortunately do have to turn down people for surgery for that reason alone. So what are the positive sides of this procedure, emotionally, physically? I think, I think the best example of that is I had a patient the other day, after her surgery she was ecstatic, she, she bought our practice lunch and she uh, proceeded to tell me that neither she nor her husband ever dreamed that she would be able to get that body back that she had uh, prior to pregnancy and actually in her early 20s and uh, it was a very rewarding gesture on her part to, to express those feelings to us. And I think it's a great option for uh, for women because, unfortunately, following pregnancy, you can get um, you, you can be as fit as possible. You can be exercising uh, day and night, and ultimately not be able to retain or return to that country you had pre-pregnancy because the muscles have been stretched due to the hormones of pregnancy. And uh, this offers an ability to return those muscles back to the to the location they were pre-pregnancy, and then also get rid of that uh, redundant skin. Uh, that was related to the stretch of the standard nine-month pre-delivery uh, stage. So, What about women who have not had children yet, and what about men? I had recently operated on a, uh, a young man who does marathons and, and climbs mountains, and is just a great guy, but unfortunately when he was younger, he you know, was weighing 300 pounds, and uh, he has since gone on to enter into this fitness craze and then is looking great but he has this extra skin that is very bothersome and, and it was also a self-image issue and so we were able to help him out that way so it's not just limited to women um, men do do this as well doctor are there any other procedures that you might have done at the same time as the tummy tuck it's really quite common uh, we oftentimes uh, have breast procedures that are performed at the same time then whether it be an augmentation and a lift or the combination of an augmentation lift and an abdominal plasty or tummy tuck uh, is, is quite common and then uh, and I'd say the vast majority of time we're actually also doing some liposuction of the trunk or the love handle area to get a very nice clean contour through the entire uh, mid zone. Okay, well that sounds like a good combo. <laughs> Should be, yes. Well thank you so much for taking your time out today. Thank you so much for having me.